Welcome to the 26th edition of Spooky Reviews from Spooky Ventures. This time around, I'm turning my attention to a Blu-ray from Arrow Video. The movie is titled Threshold, and I've seen it listed as a horror movie, but Arrow listed as both drama and horror. I'd say that's probably more accurate. That said, the horror aspect is definitely not the driving factor of the movie. These are spooky reviews, though, and not horror reviews per se, and much of the film is generally spooky. Before I get into the movie itself, there are some points about the production that should really be mentioned. First, the movie is all improvised. Secondly, it was shot on two iPhones with a crew of three people. So, when you say indie movie, that definitely describes this. You can't get much more bare bones or more indie than that. Now, the story itself, really, uh, at its heart, is about a brother and sister who have been estranged catching up with one another and going on a road trip. It starts with the brother tracking down his sister to take her to a rehab because the family believes she is using drugs. As the movie gets underway, uh, that is clearly what it seems like, but the truth is even darker than that. According to the sister, she is, quote, cursed after a ritual that connected her to another person. Um, connected her, like, mentally, physically, essentially. It was a man who was a stranger to her, and the ritual was conducted by some kind of cult who had promised to help her kick her drug habit. As I said, the horror, though, really takes the back seat. There are some hints of the horror early in the movie as we're brought into the world that the film creates. We don't really see any actual horror again until much later as it approaches the end. Although, there is one scene in particular that comes close earlier in the film. Now, it honestly feels like a road trip family reconciliation movie with the horror aspects just added in as flavoring. Or perhaps a, an excuse. That said, once that aspect is introduced, it hangs over just about every scene as a sense of impending doom and a spooky air to it. The movie feels quite slow from a horror point of view, but I found myself getting very interested in the characters and in knowing what happens to them. Their backstories are rich, and the sense of hope amidst despair seems ever-present. There's a real punk rock vibe to this movie, and indeed, when we hear music, much of it is punk rock. I found the strange ending to be a bit of a letdown. It felt like it needed more resolution than we got. Still, it was literally an intriguing trip, and it's also the kind of movie that I think will have more to reveal with repeated viewings. I really have to respect what they were able to do with such a limited budget and equipment, too. I mean, it's um, well worth the viewing. Just don't come into it expecting a real definite horror movie. You're not going to be... Um, not going to be thrilled with it if you go into it with that aspect in mind, but there's plenty to like about the movie. Spooky Ventures is the home for spooky content and spooky merchandise on the web. Check it out today at SpookyVentures.com. And remember, always keep it spooky.